Hi everyone, welcome to Tea Time at the Ritz. Um, it's four o'clock on a Friday and um, I'm back in my beauty salon because I want to share some hints and tips with you about the correct shape and uh, application and colour density for blusher to make you look your absolutely fabulous best. Um, it's the end of what has been quite a long week for me. We've been doing uh, some filming uh, with Facebook, which has been, uh, some of it has been remote in the sense that uh, one team was in California and uh, we had uh, four people in Anna's house, in fact, for the filming, um, doing all the live stuff in uh, the UK. Not live, I mean filming stuff in the UK. and. Oh, exhausted would be an understatement for how I felt last night when I got home. So, um, yes, I'm feeling quite tired. And what's brilliant uh, about Lusher and, of course, lipstick, importantly, the two points of colour that we introduce to our face to brighten ourselves up, um, I can pretty much transform the rather pale and wan look that I've got at the moment uh, by using it. Now let's just think first of all about uh, colour intensity. I know some of you find our blushes um, a bit insipid so let me show you those, um, those ones that we've had to date which is the rosy glow and the peach cream. Now I personally don't find them at all insipid. In fact uh, when I have tried our stronger and much more intense colour um, new blushes which are Coral Pop, that one, which is the warm toned colour, and Raspberry Pop which is the cool toned colour. Let me give you a comparison of those with their paler cousins. So that's Raspberry Pop with um, Rosy Glow and that is Peach Cream with uh, Coral Pop. So when I try the stronger and more intense uh, blushes I actually find that they give me rather an overdone look and I don't like it so much. Honestly we introduce these um, stronger colours for uh, people with um, darker skins and uh, and the idea is that the paler ones tend to make darker skins, uh, you know, they're too chalky on there. Um, and that the, the stronger colours, the uh, Coral Pop and the Raspberry Pop, are designed for um, skin that's not Caucasian, basically. However, we know that quite a lot of you have bought the stronger and more intense colours uh, because you like... Uh, to, to have more of a colour when you're putting it um, on your cheeks, even though you do have Caucasian skin. So, you know, each to his own. It's entirely up to you what you decide to have. Um, but the second thing, alongside intensity of colour, is whether you like to apply, um, it's, sorry, is it's how you actually apply your, your blusher. Um, the other thing is that, you know, if you do want a stronger effect, you can build the colour so you can sort of layer it up a little bit. But let's talk about application because I think what people get wrong is the shape that they create on their cheeks with their blusher. Now let, let me give you some, some alternatives. So the first uh, you know, possibility is a, is a circular shape like this. So you do apples of cheeks, that's very, po you know, in the parlance that's quite popular uh, as an idea that you've got these, you know, cheekbones here uh, that are apple shaped and that's where you apply your blusher. So let's look at that. So we'd put apples of cheeks, so that's where the blush would go I'm assuming. And um, this is if you want a stronger colour. So you're looking at something that's a bit like that. Now I don't know about you, but I think that is quite doll-like. Uh, you know, you remember those old-fashioned um, porcelain dolls? They used to have this circle of um, pink on their cheeks, didn't they? Uh, to make them all look um, pretty, you know, uh, and, uh, and, and gorgeous. But I don't think we want to look like painted dolls, so I'm not sure that circular colour is a good idea. Then you've got the idea of, of um, contouring, you know, the strips, the stripes of colour. So that would look a bit like that. Again, different intensity. Um, 
so we're talking about like a line a thickish line going like that across our cheeks and I do see this shape on some people often it's quite um, orangey and sometimes made in fact with bronzer because what you're looking at there is to create a, a contoured effect so I think the idea of this is that you put it here so that you look a bit more skinny in the face if I suck my cheeks in you can get the effect um, again that's not where you put your blusher and it's not the most flattering place to position it so I've um, created for myself what I think is the best shape um, here and it's a teardrop so think of it as a teardrop shape but of course it's going to be on its side so coming from the center of the eye down onto the cheek here and then scooping up until it's level with the eye at the side okay and I've got my uh, slightly more intense color here but the same principle applies so on there and then scooping up to the side of my eye and if I just balance that out because I have made one uh, like this then that would be the place that you would put the blusher and the effect that you would get so you've got the blusher positioned you start from the center of the eye until you find your cheekbone so here and you create that circle here and then you're lifting up to a point almost at the corner of the eye that's what you're aiming for okay now let me uh, let me get going with the actual blusher so I'm cool toned um, I am cool toned but I also often will wear the peach cream because actually I really think that the peach cream suits pretty much everybody but if you are very cool toned and you you prefer a much pinkier blush then obviously you know go for the rosy glow so uh, that's my you know that's my tip to you if you like so um, I'm going to use the rosy glow uh, to demonstrate this and I'm going to use my fingers although I often use a brush I'm, I hope I'm not giving you conflicting messages right now but I'm going to just use my fingers to pat on in the kind of shape that I've just talked about so I'm going to go into that circular shape on my cheeks there and then I'm going to lift this patting in all the time I'm going to lift it up until I make it level with the top of my you know cheeks next to my eye so here we go so I'm keeping that teardrop shape remember the teardrop shape that I talked about it's uh, uh, it's like that so that's where I'm I'm basically putting it and again if you want to you know just keep patting it on until you reach a level that seems to work for you and if I come in close and you can see where it is I think you can you can get the idea of where I've placed it and I'm obviously now going to reproduce that effect on the other cheek so onto those central eye come down find that area pat it in and then start the process of lifting so up 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 and keep going until you reach that outer edge of the eye and the corner there and then just blend it away okay so again I think you know I'm using my laptop screen as a mirror it's not a perfect represent uh, representation of a mirror but it's near enough so having done that which I think is quite quick and easy to do I'm going to take my brush and I'm now just going to again I'm not going to drag it so much it's just pat it in and what you're doing is you're, you're just blending it really so patting it in lifting it away until you've got the right level of just I don't know glow 
you know, prettiness. Um, I, I often quote the idea that, uh, you know, in Jane Austen's time, they didn't have much in the way of makeup, so they pinched their cheeks when um, the gorgeous man on the horse rode by that they wanted to attract. And so they made themselves look as pretty as possible by pinching their cheeks. Well, we don't have to do that, thank goodness. Um, in the sense that we've now got modern cosmetics which uh, do that trick for us. But I do think that when you are as tired as I am today, then adding a bit of blusher really lifts your whole face and uh, makes all the difference. Um, and obviously what then makes all the difference is that uh, you apply a lovely lipstick. I'm going to put some very berry on this morning because I'm in a very berry mood. And uh, I know that when I've got my lipstick on, having applied uh, my blusher as well, that I've done a really uh, big favour to myself in helping my um, in helping my my face look a lot less tired um, and uh, less wan. And you know, under normal circumstances, circumstances when I haven't had such a hard week and I'm not feeling quite so tired, then what blusher and lipstick does for a face is it just makes it more fabulous. And that's really what we all want, isn't it? So I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope uh, that you enjoyed being back at the, um, you know, my beauty salon before going off to the tea time at the Ritz. I really do wish that I was right now going to, um, to go to a, a you know, a tea room at uh, somewhere like the Ritz to meet all of you. I would love that. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe sometime in the next few months, we'll actually be able to do it for real. Um, I would look forward to that very much. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, keep applying that blusher because it does really lift your whole face. Um, and don't forget, we have got a special offer on our blush this week. Um, it's half price. You'll see that offer underneath this video and also uh, in the email that we sent you. So this is the time to buy if you haven't already bought our wonderful blusher. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.